All right, let's try talking about today's meditation this way. Today, the sun is in the second decan of Cancer still. Cancer ruled by the car, the chariot. The chariot I always see as the atomic symbol of your ability to go and travel inside each cell, just like the six-pointed star, to run through the alchemy of these deep embodied waters. Um, you with your fire at the center, navigating the empathetic waters of uh, creation or the creative flow of interconnectedness with everyone. In uh, the Three of Cups, in the Three of Cups, you've got uh, Mercury, the mind, in Cancer. So in this whole 10 day cycle, which is still going on for a couple more days, you are able to celebrate and empathize without the same layers of bias that would normally be sitting there. So what we do is look at what there is to empathize with through the intellectual field with others within ourselves and find harmony between all of our inner identities and our outer identities. And when I say outer identities, I mean me and you. That you and I are the same, we just with different heads. So with the moon though, the moon phase being in Scorpio, and I love a Scorpio moon, um, Scorpio moon, you know, kitty cat. The Scorpio moon is uh, represented by, or the Scorpio itself, by death, the frequency of surrender and letting go. And um, what this is when it's on our moon, it's in our emotional body. And so we allow ourselves to let whatever thoughts or feelings or holdings we may have that no longer serve our highest good to just die away naturally, kind of like plucking out old weeds out of your garden. Um, surrendering into death, and I love this representation on this, is the David Bowie, uh, or the Starman Tarot, um, that they have in here, that the key here, really, I love Scorpio as the ruler of the second chakra, truly, that in the creative waters of embodiment as fixed water, that the key is in the surrender, the ultimate, of what Mother Earth does, of what Mother does. So in our mood, in our feelings, in our emotions, if we surrender to what is, then we open the key to the next creation. So let's look at a meditation that has to do that. So if we're navigating the empathetic waters through the mind as the gateway, if we have thoughts that rise that need compassion, then can we just allow them to simply die and flow and not grasp. So let's feel that for a minute. Let's start by looking deep into your second chakra, into the pelvic bowl, deep, dark waters, and allow your mind to be like liquid metal of mercury, fire and water mixed perfectly together, seeing that field melt, the masculine and feminine, the left and right hemispheres melting together and dropping down into the vessel, the vase, which is the body, the container, and melting that mind and stirring the old black waters deep in the second chakra and allowing that which needs to leave the mind to go into the deep dark waters and naturally just enter into apoptosis, going inward to die. No need to express outward to die. It is not another's responsibility to let go. It is ours. We accept, we hold counsel, and we release. So we allow the mind, the left and right hemispheres, the masculine and feminine to melt together, turning into the fire water aspect of mercury, going down and dropping into the vase, the vessel of the body, Stirring into the second chakra, into the deep dark waters where they naturally enter apoptosis and no longer exist. 